Welcome back. I'm at Jim's Firearms in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, checking out some awesome knives. First up, we got some Olamics. They started carrying these. This is a 247 Wayfair Bowie Blue. And there's the price tag. Uh, here's the knife. Olamics always, I mean, I've always loved his finishing. Um, his, you know, that's a good stone washed blue anno with the hardware, tie hardware. Pretty massive uh, flipper, but. It rockets out and check that bowie blade out with the satin finish. I'm guessing this is M390? Uh, S90 on Oh, oh, S90. Yeah, there it is. The glare's too much. I don't know if y'all can see that. Probably not, but it's S90V. Um, let's see. Feel, this handle is extremely comfortable because of that, the way it comes down. It's almost like a, it feels like a pistol grip almost. If you like jimping, that jimping is, it's kind of grippy. It's a uh, little rounded over a little bit, but it's it's pretty grippy. Very smooth, but not on the drop. That's The action is like silky, but once on the drop, I don't know. Definitely a uh, overbuilt feeling. It's got a floating backspacer. See, I can see through that. And his signature clip that he uses on pretty much all of them. Titanium with the big old ceramic ball in there. Big old lanyard hole. So that's the first one. This next one's a behemoth. A behemoth. <laughs> I say that purposely. This is a rainmaker. Rainforest to be exact. I guess the finish. This thing is, you said about 10 inches? Yeah, All right, maybe. Yeah, and I'm not gonna say what I think this thing looks like, but love, love that. Uh, it's got like the bark finish on it, with the green Statue of Liberty typing uh, finishing, floating backspacer on that one. Yeah, he does all floating. That looks like a longer version of the Wii clip, but the action on this. Being that the flipper tab's way up here, it gives you tons of momentum and it rockets out. Nice harpoon blade, it's got like a blasted stone wash finish. And because of all the milling and how slim, like slim and width wise, it's fairly uh, lightweight. M390 on this one feels like it would pocket nicely. And Perfectly centered blade. Yeah, I like, I love how he, he designed that flipper all the way up there like that. You want the flipper to be at least in, lined up with that front of that pivot. It gives you such a better flip on it. And then that mass of that blade makes this thing rock it out. So there, that's the two Olamics. The next up, we got two coming from Berg Blades. This is uh, the Mutt. So he came back out with the Pup basically he's called the mutt <coughs> I own the other two versions of this this one right here is so so light did I show the price there it is because this one has not only it has uh, beautifully contoured scales it also has internal milling all over the place mill tie clip it's got uh, like a goldish bronze anno with a blasted clip beautiful action and these have fullers the other two did the first one have fullers you know i don't know it was so. a flipper and that's it the first one's a no flipper fuller. and this then this was, the one's, yeah i have one of these with the tie maskus kit oh yeah he stayed with the hollow that's nice they slice way better now because they got a nice deep hollow on them blade steel 20 cv 20 cv yeah the action is nice it's, it's a light blade let's see can you I'm trying to uh, fuller flick. yeah pro if if you you could get to that fuller but this one has a detent dial for that flipper so very comfortable in hand yeah you got a he's got several different versions of this don't you have several different yeah versions. i've got like five different variants yeah if you see anything you like uh just call jim's farms in baton rouge louisiana ask for brian and he could take care of you I just picked up one of these, but this one's a special one. This is the Berg Blades Sweeney and Marble Carbon Fiber and Damascus Steel. 
That's not a bad price for a damn steel knife. Not these days. That's a good price. I like the, uh, what is it? Not tr Is it shred carbon fiber or something like that? Yeah. No, forged. Forged. Forge. Huh? One of those two. I think it looks really nice. And they did like a bead blasted finish on the bolster and pocket clip. And this one has very, very nice action. Love the aesthetics of this one. Now it's not it's not a uh, polished, it's like a satin finish on the Dama Steel. Still looks nice. But I like I love the way those mirror polished uh, ones look. Ooh, man, this one is silky smooth. I think the Sweeney's have the best action of any of the models he's ever done. Now, I have the blasted one, and I, I knew better, but it doesn't have this type of action. Yeah. It's more, I guess, because they don't they don't mask off where the detent ball is, so it's kind of gritty, but it'll, it'll get like this eventually. This one, wow. If you can feel it, it's just so silky smooth. It feels like... You have no resistance when you're closing it. Very, very nice. Yeah, that's a nice one. I like the Sweeney a lot. Probably my favorite so far of his designs. I agree. I mean, I like all of his stuff, obviously, because I got every almost everything from him. All right, now we've got some popular ones that I'm surprised they're here. They just got here, actually. This is a Strider PT Plus in the Aluma Bronze handle. There's a price tag. This thing is absolutely stunning. It's got that texture finish. Now it is a uh, chunk of a, a knife because of the bronze aluminum. You got a, it looks like a mother of pearl button. Deep cut pocket clip. Centered up blade. Beautiful action. And these are probably magnet cut. Yeah, magnet cut. And they're actually HRC in these proper. I think like 63, 64, something like that. Um, I love the PT. If, if, if this one wasn't as heavy as it is, if it was just like an aluminum and that they did this, I would definitely buy it. I think it's gorgeous. Just uh, very handle heavy. But, you know, the, the people who enjoy this, they know that going into it. So, not a big deal. They also have, uh, if, if you like this knife but you didn't want the aluminum, they have br uh, black aluminum texture ones here as well. So that's that one. Now this one, <laughs> yeah, these will probably sell out pretty quick here, and I'm so happy to see them back. I even picked myself up one. So what we have is the Mardax. It's finally back in Magna Cut in blue too, my favorite color. Uh, you have what four of these? Three of them. Three of them, because I and that's including the one I bought. Yeah. Okay, so they got two of them. <laughs> so if you want one of these, don't think that somebody already bought it, because that's what happens a lot somebody's like oh they're they're probably gone and they don't call up here just call up here ask them if they have it it, it can't hurt but uh love love that blue it's like it's like a royal blue and of course beautiful action stonewashed magna cut blade this one doesn't have any button stick at all none of them did huh no um so for whatever reason that's been my experience with the mordaxes Malibus tend, tend to be a little sticky. Yeah. This is my first, this will be my first Mordax I've owned. Um, I missed, he had one here a while back, but I, I didn't pick it up that day and it got sold the next day. So it was really cool seeing these come back in stock. So if you ever wanted a Mordax, you might want to pick, pick this up before it is bye bye. Because they, you know, they usually do runs of knives, and then it might not come back for another year. I forgot how long it's been for the Mordax, but awesome knife. Now, if I didn't already own is the one I have, it's the Pacific, huh? Yeah. Um, this no, you, you actually have this knife this uh, the, just in uh, M4, I believe. Yeah. No, no. Four uh, V. 4V. Uh, yeah, this right. one's Magna Cut, right? And yours, I don't think it's serrated. No. Where this one's serrated. That's why I think I think the serrated might be the, the Green Beret. I think mine's a Pacific. Okay. I could be wrong, and I, I've, I've thought about picking this up because this one, this one's going to sell very quick, too. This is uh, the Chris Reeve Knives Green Beret 7-inch. It's got a little bit of serrations, and it's in CPM Magna Cut. Ah, uh, man. this. Can you pull that? Yeah. I don't want to cut the sheath. And 
I mean, you know how hard it is to get fixed blade. Oh screws. yeah, very very difficult to get these in. And I, I don't like I don't really mind these serrations because it's just a little you know little strip of serrations, nice and sharp. I love that blade. Yeah. Then the micarta handles are so comfortable. And I usually don't like forced toils like that, but my fingers happen to fit perfectly. Yeah, this would be a good fighting knife, but more so, it's an excellent collector piece. Uh, mine doesn't really see much use. Um, I figured if I go hunting again or something, I'll, I'll bring mine with me. Oh, you can actually choke up right there. I just realized that because it's all rounded. Everything's nice and rounded. They crowned all this area right here. Idaho made all this the this is crowned the spines crowned very very nice all the this is all crowned so even though it's shadow boxed all that's very comfortable in hand you have like uh, they must have uh, blasted the micarta because it's very textured kind of like uh, a giant mouse so yeah, that's all the stuff for today. We got some other stuff, but I'm going to make it a separate video so this video is not an hour long. Let me know if y'all enjoy seeing these videos. Um, if there's anything that you know you, you wanted that I showed, just call up here. Ask them if it's still available, and they will definitely take care of you. All right, guys and girls, I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.